hello today I'm here with a new video and today is day number four in my UVS place week and today we're digging into the Doucet palette the Deuce the Doucet I don't really know how to pronounce it but uh, it's this one and this I think this is the palette from UVS that I use the least it looks like this it is a very nice palette Maybe it is a little bit natural for being UVS in some way, I don't really know, but I usually don't pick this up at all and I don't know why. I have seen the last weeks both Annette and uh, Betty Jean do looks with this and I am and I have been like, I have the palette too, I have to use it. So this is the fourth palette we are going to use in this week and in this palette we have Four mattes is Tarte, Macaron, Puffs and Mont Blanc. And then we have five matte chocolate, creme, custard, berry mousse and crepe. And today I am only going to use the matte colors in this. So I hope that I will come up with something fun. I'm really sure. I have been looking at this palette for like 10 minutes straight and I think I know what I want to do. So it's the four corners and the middle that is matte and this one, Berry Mousse, it's so light so I don't really know what I want to do and I think I'm a little bit tired right here. So I think I will take this one and put it in my crease and then we have it out of the world. And just put it in my crease too, you can't even see it, I feel. To have a nice transition from skin to skin, it looks like. The first time I played with this palette, I thought it was so um, bad pigmented. If I compared it to my other UVS place, and then I was like... Do I even want to use it? Do I even want to have it? And then I have touched it sometimes after that, but it has not been the same as with every other UVS Place palettes. But I don't even know if it is any different from the others. I have no clue. But this seems pretty safe, I think. It's almost only this custard, and I don't know why it is. Purple pink shade is called custard. I don't know. Okay, so now we have berry mousse out of the way. I think I will take cream, creme, and crepe on my lid and also in my crease I think so I take crepe my outer crease and as you see it's nothing wrong with this either and when I swatched all the shades before I start filming they are really soft and they are like the other UVS place. So I don't know why I haven't used this. I have no idea. So now I'm going to take a creme and put it in here. And I don't know how much this is going to show. Not so much. But I think that this creme and the crepe they go together really good. If you can see it, I don't know. Maybe you only can see my little friend up here. <sighs> Love that. So, something like that. Do they look even, the eyes? I think this studio light is so much closer to me than the other one is. Maybe this look better. So, what do I want to do? I think I will take creme again and put it in my inner corner with a small uh, brush. So as you see I am not that 
I have not really decided what I want to do with this palette. It feels like I'm doing a lot of bright looks. Okay, the first look of the week wasn't that bright, but yesterday was, and the day before that as well. And then I'm going to take crap on the rest of my eye. If it will stick. Now we're talking. And okay, this feels like the most boring makeup look ever and it doesn't feel like anybody's like oh I have to do say palette I want to do a look after this and I am so sorry for it this is going so freaking fast to do this eye look I don't like when it goes so fast it feels like I'm doing something wrong I don't know if you understand what I mean I think this is pretty okay it's a little bit more boring than I usually do, but now I am going to take chocolate. Is it chocolate? Chocolate. I don't know, is, is this a French palette? <laughs> um, maybe, maybe it is. Okay, I'm going to take chocolate in on my outer corner and deepen this down. I usually don't use this brush for this. I take the Sigma E45. I usually only use this for my lower lash, but I think it's more meant for doing this. Be on the lower lash. Maybe this looks good. As I have said before, Sometimes I want this to be live so I can talk to you while I'm doing my makeup because then you can tell me to just stop doing that, you're ruining your look. But now we aren't live and we cannot be so. Yeah. I like when other people have like this almost a very defined crease but I don't like it on myself it feels like I don't know what I am doing when I look like that which is strange because I like it on others and they know what they are doing so okay I don't think we can get any better than this I'm afraid so I will put on some base and then we will do the under eyes and we have one shade left for that, as you maybe already know. We have the custard left, so I hope that that will save this. So the base is on and uh, brows and everything like that. And now we are going into the lower lash. And I'm going to use... Why can't I get you open? <laughs> I'm going to use custard on my whole lower lash and maybe take some of the crap on the outer out here uh, maybe I should do that now because that's the wrong brush just to so isn't like a hard line out here And I am just, I think this should be custard more than this, and this should be berry mousse more than this. I just think <laughs> the names in this palette feels a little bit off, at least them. Uh, but what to do? And this custard is a nice shade and I would love to go for a inner corner with some shimmer shade but this is an all matte look 
my f thought with this week was first of all I'm going to use one palette every day and my second thought was I want to do something different every day just to challenge myself a little bit and I think that it's more fun than like say seven palette bingos in a row nobody wants to see that so all the eyeshadows are on and I'm going to take a purple pen in my waterline this is is it Daring Mood from Linda Holberg it's a purple one and then I'm going to put on some mascara and then we are going to figure out the lip situation but that we can do together so I will come back with some options for the lips and we will see what feels like a great idea and not so everything is on except for lipstick and I have two choices these two these are two completely different choices it's narcotic narcotic from Nabla it's a dark a little bit of blue in it I think yeah and also Blair that is super light and I don't know I would love to take this only to like some licks only to do something that is out of this area but I think this would be so nice to the eyes because it's like in between the shades I have on my lid but this would be so freaking cool and it doesn't feel like I do cool lips too often on my channel even though I love it so I think we're down with the cool or does it take away from the eye? Okay. We'll try this narcotic first. And as you see, this is pretty dark. And but it's not black, but when it dries down it is a little bit darker than this and what do I think? I think we maybe go with this. <laughs> I think it's always like when you have a dark lipstick and you only paint one of your lips, it looks so strange. It only looks like I have one lip. And I love dark lips. The only thing I don't like is you need to be so freaking precise. Pr precise. Precise. Precisely. To make it look, um, what is it even called? To to have a perfect line. I fucked up my upper lip, and I don't think I can fix it because I think it will only make it worse. And every time I do this dark lip, I remember why I never do it because it goes like this, and then you can't like take it away because if I would try to take this away now it will only make things worse so if I could have talked to you you should you had probably said like no don't take narcotic take Blair and it would have been so much better than this but <laughs> we have to live with it okay so I couldn't leave the look with a lipstick that I wasn't 100% satisfied with or was I? I don't know. So I took it away and put on Blair instead. And I don't know if this is better or not. It's like two complete different looks now, I think. I can put the other one here. So here and here. And <laughs> you can comment with which lip color you thought was the best. I really don't know. I like this Blair. But I also like darker lips because I think it's more fun. <laughs> so this was the Dusse palette and I need to start to use this more. I don't know what I will do with this but I want to use it more. So this is the second <laughs> look with the Dusse, the second lip with the Dusse. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I will see you tomorrow with my next US Place video and tomorrow it's Friday
but I saving the big finale for Sunday. So I will see you tomorrow and I hope you like this video. Bye!